Biden all cheer. We interrupt this broadcast to bring you news of an alien inv invasion of our planet. A few moments ago, Earth was invaded by supernatural beings from outer space. We go now to our reporter in Wellington where alien spacecraft have landed near the Houses of Parliament. What can you tell us? Thank you, Lauren and Isla. I am Amy, reporting live from Lampton Key, where the invaders have been causing chaos, havoc and pandemonium. There is panic and terror in the streets this morning, as the people of New Zealand wake up to find alien spacecraft have descended on the capital. There are also reports of alien agents throughout the towns and cities of New Zealand. While it is unclear if we are actually under attack, these space invaders seem capable of destroying the country and the planet unless we give them what they want without hesitation. It seems they will take no for an answer and humankind will never be the same again. One thing that everybody should know is that there is, there are, so if... Amy? Are you there Amy? We appear to have lost our transmission. And now, in an e-news exclusive, an alien representative has taken over our television studios to issue their demands as the people of Earth. Standing by in our studio is Simon. Now, what ha is happening there? Well, yes, this terrifying alien has said, give us your studio or else. So we said, okay then. But the alien said down here is very tense. And we wait on the demands of these super beings which being decided to take over the fate of the human race. What we can tell you is that the alien creatures small, smell really awful, kind of like Lyle Bay mixed with uh, a bit of blue cheese. And they are very terrible manner. And now it looks like the spokes alien is about to address humanity through a special translation device. People of, listen carefully, we are the super superior beings of the planet from pl a galaxy interstellar overdrive from your I can't even read it hang on the following things in the particular order that's um, demands I'd like uh, number one we want Oh, what do you want? World peace. Number two, Chewbacca from Star Wars. And we would also like this, the uh, Friday Friday song on MP3 on my iPod. That would be very good. If you not, do not give us these things as soon as possible, or we will destroy you along with our ray guns and X-Wing fighters. You have three days. That is all. Well, there you have it, the demands of the alien race upon which our lives depend. Are these demands reasonable? Is this the end of the human race? We'd like to hear your opinion. What does this terrifying event mean to you? Have you had a close encounter with an alien being? What are your thoughts on our imminent demise? Email us at www.emergencyapocalypse, or one word, dot org. And now, the New Zealand government is preparing to issue a statement. Apparently, the alien invasion began here in New Zealand because we are the first country on earth to greet the sun each morning and the first to begin each calendar day. These space invaders it seems are on a schedule and so the world is watching and waiting to see what happens. The way events unfold here in New Zealand will have a deep impact for the, the entire planet. One false move from our government could doom the human race. So with such pressure on her, his shoulders <laughs> The New Zealand Prime Minister is about to greet the media. On location on the steps of the Beehive is our beloved Prime Minister, Caprice. Thanks, Lauren and Isla. Well, crowds of people are wandering around, mainly early morning commuters and people coming from home from bars. They seem confused. A bit sleepy. I don't think they have any idea what is happening. Aliens have invaded people. Wake up, 
be afraid. Wait, now I think I see the Prime Minister. Yes, here he is. He comes now to address the nation. Tina Kato Katoa, people of New Zealand. This is your uh, Prime Minister here. I would like you I would like to appeal to each one of you to remain calm. It is extremely important that we do our best to make these powerful space aliens welcome and display all the friendly welcoming qualities that define us New Zealanders. We will be holding an official um, puffery later today and I will personally invite the alien uh, leaders to join me on a helicopter uh, tour of our beautiful country. By showing off our clean, green, beautiful landscape, we hope that these uh, superior beings will spare New Zealand from destruction and move on to Australia. Our government helpline has been um, set up to give advice on what to do if you encounter uh, one of these alien beings. We think that uh, the best thing to do is hold your breath, smile in a friendly manner and then uh, quickly run away. This information uh, is also available on the government website. Uh, go to uh, www.alieninvasioninfo, all one word, uh, dot government dot nz. Uh, please go to your business as usual. Uh, the buses will still run, the rubbish will still be picked up, the economy will uh, wait for no one. That is all. Back to the studio. Well, there we have it. Thank you, Prime Minister, for those words of wisdom, which are bound to stop people from panicking, looting and rioting. An alien invasion has the potential to unite the world as one, or it could destroy us all. And we've already had some interesting feedback from our viewers, who have some pretty strong opinions. Most of them are against the alien invasion. Robert T. of Tai Happy wrote, Why didn't those stupid aliens attack Australia? They deserve it. And uh, Mabel from Mana says, it's extremely inconsiderate of them to attack bef in the middle of Coronation Street. So, these hostile aliens are making demands on the people of Earth. And we have three days to give them what they want, or we're all dead. My question is, where to from here? What do we know about these alien beings? Can we afford to ignore them? And where is the safest place for me to go after this news broadcast? We look forward to hearing more of your views on these and other matters. And to help us answer these rather tricky questions, we have a panel of alien experts in the studio to discuss this alien inv invasion and what you can, at home can do about it. Introducing Dr. Hippie and Dr. Feelgood. Can you hear me there? What are we going to do? Well, firstly, I think just because all these aliens have discovered Burger King and they love, they love the food so much that I think that we should actually poison the burgers and the drinks and the chips like with poisonous chemicals so then they'll slowly die away and then there'll be no more aliens. Yeah, I think that's a great idea. What? Yeah. I don't agree. Uh, obviously that's uh, completely foolish, uh, faulty and flawed because what we should do is um, not um, poison the Burger King. That may give them a bad name uh, with, in regards to their food anyway because I really do like it. But um, we should get our uh, automobiles um, all around. Everyone that's got a car just get out there and start driving around the city and look out for any aliens, see if you can run them down. And also um, you know, the poisons that came out of the car um, they could also poison, um, so it's kind of like a double double win there, the, the running them over and the, the poisoning. It could be quite a good uh, multiply effect. Um, so that's my point on the matter. Do you agree? No, I definitely disagree. What? I, it's just, it's not plausible. They're not getting hunted down in the city. Yeah, they, they um, they'll be walking down the streets. They're not yeah, that go drive over that's our chance to get them. Anyway. Better go back to the uh, back to the studio. See what their thoughts are on this. Over to you. Well, so much for the opinions of the experts. Are they right? Who can tell? I guess we'll find out soon enough. In the meantime, let's have a look at the havoc and mayhem that is happening up and down the country. What has been happening? Thank you. Let's have a look at what's been happening out there, starting in the far north. 
There have been reports that alien creatures chasing the sheep around paddocks in downtown Kaitaia has been overrun by a frightened flock. In Auckland, there is a sense of fear and outrage as aliens try to attempt to knock over the sky tower and use it for an alien antenna for their ships. The city council has been asked has asked the public to keep away from the downtown area. A cluster of invaders have been seen swimming in the boiling mud pools in Rotorua and showering under the geysers. Locals say they are rude tourists and unaware of any unusual alien smell. Hawke's Bay wineries have been become the focus of some curious space invaders who have been seeing guzzling vets of wine and passing out in wine yards. There have been toxic a- alien vomit has been cornered off by police. And Wellington has become a landing hotspot of alien invaders. They are use they use the railway station and central bus terminals as transit lounge where they can relax after a long space flight and get used to Earth's atmosphere and refresh themselves in preparation for killing us all. There may be some disruption uh, to the train and bus services on the top of the South Island. People in Kaitaia are, are appealing to the whale population for support believing that the sea creature's size and intelligence could save us all. Little progress has been made as so far due to the language barrier. Meanwhile, confusion reigns in Canterbury, where, since, where some alien invaders have been approaching the regional cow community, seeking an alliance based on the fact that both parties have four stomachs. Nothing official has been announced so far. And finally, in Dunedin, several creatures have been spotted in the Spates Beer Factory the Cadbury Chocolate Factory and the Greg's Coffee Factory. The aliens are said to be extremely unstable and should not be approached. Well, that's all from me. I'm going to hide in my basement. So back to the news desk. How are you two going to spend the last days? Yeah, I'm going to hide under my bed. I'm going to tend to my herb garden. Meanwhile, stay tuned for updates and live reports as they come in. If you would like to keep up with our probable demise on our webcam, just log on to our webpage and click on TV Studio forward slash alien evaporation. Goodbye everybody. May these terrifying, strange and foul-smelling alien beings have mercy on us all. From the whole team at E! News. <laughs>